a nice clean caravan. Oh, thank you, Sandy. Yeah, it is. And uh, even though it's shiny and clean and looks appealing for a would-be thief, mm. I'm not concerned about it at all. Why is that, Greg? Because it has the latest Wi-Fi alarm system. And I'm going to do a video and show you all about it. Can't wait. <laughs> okay, so big news, the Wi-Fi alarm has been upgraded and it's even better. You can now upgrade your existing Wi-Fi alarm. Keep watching and I'll tell you how. As most of our regular viewers will know, we're great uh, advocates of the Wi-Fi system. If not, please have a look at uh, other Wi-Fi videos. I'll put a link up there. And you'll see why we have this gear on a caravan. It's just good stuff. Their tagline says it all, actually. Journey simply. The old Wi-Fi alarm it had several features that other alarms don't have, like applying the brakes when it was set off and GPS integration, being able to get rid of the trailer lead and, and best of all, that brake control. Oh, I love that thing. We went to Hamner Springs for a long weekend and I'm not sure if we took the wrong road, but it was steep and narrow and the Wi-Fi brake controller just made it so easy. Anyway, the Wi-Fi alarm has lots of great features, but it didn't have some features that you sort of associate with the word alarm, like motion sensors inside the van and door sensors on the doors. So, with the old system, someone could very carefully lever open a door and sneak in and disconnect your batteries. They would have to be your professional type thief and very educated about your van, but it was possible. And several times I had the alarm set and Sandy would unlock the door and wander in, Sometimes it would be a few minutes before we noticed that the alarm light was on. Anyway, the Wi-Fi guys are a very forward-thinking company and are always looking to make their products better. So, the latest alarm comes with door sensors and a motion sensor and more. But we'll talk about these two features first. The motion sensor is a, well, it looks like a motion sensor actually. I fitted ours at the front of the van and they recommend fitting it at either the front or the rear. Very easy to do, no wires, push a couple of buttons, it's all paired up with the alarm and working. Uh, it's battery powered, obviously I don't know how long the batteries are going to last, but uh, they're easy to change. Now, you can have more than one motion sensor connected, so if you had a large van with maybe two entrances, like some of those big American RVs I've seen, uh, you could have one at each end of the van. I don't think we need that now, Jayco. It's the, uh, the only bit that's not really covered is the toilet. And if the rat bag thief wants to hide in our toilet, <laughs> he's welcome to it. Anyway, the second part of the upgrade is the door sensor. This works on similar principles. You just need to work out where you're going to put it on the door and push the pairing button and boom, she's all done. Now, the really good thing with this is you can have multiple door sensors. So you could put them on all your lockers to protect against someone stealing valuable stuff from, in, from inside your lockers. About the only valuable thing I have is Sandy, so we just have the one sensor on our main door. I have heard of a lawn mowing guy installing the white eye alarm for just this feature. So he can have all the lockers on his trailer alarmed while he's away from it mowing someone's lawns. Kiwi Ingenuity at its best. Now the other thing that the white tie have included in this upgrade is a panic button. So the second button on the remote, if pressed for three seconds, activates the alarm. Could be very handy if you were worried about someone snooping around at night. And saying that, all in all of our travels around the country, we've never, or not once, have we had that sort of situation. Still, great to know you have it if you uh, if you need it. The other thing included in the upgrade is the calibration of the vehicle's voltage displayed on the brake controller. Obviously with electric brakes and sway control or battery powered on the van, it's pretty important that uh, you've got the right voltage. The previous version did display voltage, but it was sometimes not as accurate. Now you can calibrate your voltage displayed. Just good information. I use it with uh, the GPS tracker to see how my soul is going when I'm away from the van. Cost. So, if you have an older Wi-Fi system, you can upgrade. I think that's great that you don't have to fork out for a whole new system to get all the, all the latest features. So, to upgrade is 225 New Zealand dollars plus a bit of freight. And to purchase the latest system complete is 785, which comes with one motion sensor and one door sensor like we have. You can get extra door sensors 
sensors for $40 and extra motion sensors for $65. So, as I've said before, great to see a local, well, you know, Aussie company being so proactive in the caravan market. I don't think there's another alarm out there that offers all these features. Well done, Waitai. So, that's the latest Waitai alarm. Good gear that's easy to use. A big thank you to anyone who's subscribed to our channel. I see we now have over 2,000 subscribers. There are lots of channels out there, and, and I do appreciate you taking the time to look at our videos. We do have lots of good videos coming up, and if you'd like me to do a review on some product that's, uh, that's out there, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching. See you next time.